Louisiana Beer Reviews, Corel Stout, <coughs> Belgian Stout. Corel says it all. It says anything can happen to anyone, and they got everything crossed out on it, so it's, they're being like, you know, funny about it. 5% alcohol, 44 IBUs. Now, untapped in these other sites is saying it's 6%, but the bottle says 5 and the website says 5 Um... I don't understand the batch number. I'm not going to try to figure it out. The company is called Corral, uh, Verbeek Back to Cock. Um, it says reborn in 2015. The website says 2017. Well, whatever the case, it hasn't been around too long. Belgian style with rich coffee and pure chocolate hints. Ingredients, water, barley, hop, yeast, and ale. Imported by Artisanal Imports. This was given to me by TK and he's got his own channel a beer a day with TK and you should watch that channel and thank you TK for this wonderful gift now the ratings for it and there's a couple of video reviews for it, including TK's uh, the ratings aren't too good like untap saying mm, like 63 64 I'm sorry out of 100 untap yeah rate beer saying it's terrible like a 40 out of 100 21 in the style something crazy like that and then, mm, that's crazy. And then, Beer Advocate is NA, not enough uh, scores to give it a average score. Look at that head. Super thick, spongy, beige head, and it almost went over the top. Uh, it's very dark brown. Very dark brown, but not black. Um, so I'd never heard of it before. He sent it, and I was like, what is this? I like the little stubby bottle. Uh-huh. Sort of like the Coors Banquet beer bottle. 11.2 ounces, though Coors is 12. This has got that European kind of greenish-brown appearance. Can't tell if it's more green than brown or brown than green, whereas the American, American ones would just be brown. Yeah, dark roasted barley malt, chocolate and coffee hints. I'll go along with that. So it's super lively. Just making a little crackle there. Can't really hear much. Let's go with the taste. Cheers. Charred, or let's say, uh, dark roasted barley malt, but not burnt. I was going to say char, but um, it taking it to the edge, but not not burning it, um, the malts. Body, medium. And the finish is dry. Uh, sweetness scale, I'd say two and a half out of five uh, sugar cubes. It's not coming across particularly sweet. Now bitterness, they're saying, what, 44? Yes. Let's see if it matches the uh, IBU number. Sometimes it doesn't match. I mean, it, I'm not saying the IBU number is wrong. It's just that bitterness doesn't always match the number. Yeah, it's about that 44 out of 100. Three and a half out of five hop cones. Yeah, three. Is it three and a half? Yeah, three and a half out of five hop cones. Um, I don't see why they would give it such a bad score on rape beer. I got to read those uh, reviews later because they tend to be a little outrageous on there sometimes. I mean, if they don't they don't like something, they don't say, "Well, it's kind of okay." They just say it's horrible. You know, um, Untap be more even-handed. So is uh, Beer Advocate. All right, I'm going to read through the lines. Anything can happen to anyone, but it usually doesn't, except when it does. Traditional Belgian ale. They had traditional crossed out. Dreamy, sweet on you, sour face, roasty. They're trying to be like a Lagnese. I'm not reading all that. Untouched by monks. <laughs> so, no, not an Abbey ale or a, a Trappist ale. So anyway, score from that little taste. Get a little bit more of it. This wildly, it's got that wild, I don't want to say it's technically wild, but that kind of 
wild Belgian yeast in the sense that it's like crazy to jump out the glass and overflow everywhere. Super vibrant. There is a little sourness, like that Belgian sour ale yeast taste. A little bit. Hmm. Well, it's different. It's good. Nothing great. Uh, kind of, it's kind of plain, but uh, I don't see why I wouldn't get a B, like 87 out of 100. Yeah, so let's go 8.7 out of 10. And I think it would go higher as I... It, there's a chance it can go higher as I sip on it, drink on it, and think on it. But I'm going to do that right now. Drink, sip on it, drink on it, and think on it as I do the written review. So, Les Les Bon Temps Relais, a good Belgian beer. Thanks again, TK. He sent me some very interesting items. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Belgium, to the Kingdom of Belgium, and tour the VBDC Brewery.